Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the ATP Finals race is now over. Midway through Paris, we have the eight finalists going to Turin to compete at the ATP Finals. Let's go have a look at the rankings uh, because they got sorted out with a couple of big losses today. So the two big results that happened today, we had Hubi Hercatch and Taylor Fritz both losing, which means that we've got eight players qualified for the race to Turin, which is happening in a couple of weeks. Starting with Alcaraz, he's at number one. Nadal is still at number two, despite losing in Paris in a big shock second round loss. Sidney Pass in three, Rude at four, Medvedev at five. Felix Ogier's team comes in at number six. Andre Rublev qualifies at seven. And no Novak Djokovic slots in there at number eight because of his Wimbledon win ahead of Taylor Fritz and Hubie Hercatch, who both lost today because they lost. That's the final race. And don't forget, there are still players playing for spots in the ATP Finals race in terms of position. So not so much qualification, but in terms of position, they want to be in certain spots so they can avoid certain players like Nadal or Alcaraz. Some players don't want to play him, but that is what the finals is going to look like. Those are the eight players with Fritz and Hercatch coming in as alternates. So there it is. The ATP Finals have been locked in, but there are some injury concerns and the alternates being Fritz and Hercatch might actually get some matches. Rafa looked a little bit slow today. Don't know if there's injuries there. And we've got the Alcaraz problem with his knee. So we'll see if he looks okay at the finals because we did have alternates come in last year for guys like Sidney Pass and Berrettini. So there is a chance Fritz and Hercatch can still play. But at this stage, if everyone's healthy, that's the top eight. Are you happy with the top eight? Are you going to miss anybody? I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think there's anyone really missing. I mean, Nick Kyrgios would have been really funny to have there, but I like it. I think they're the best eight players of the season, and I'm glad Djokovic did qualify because there were rumblings that he, people didn't think it was fair, but I think if you win Wimbledon, you deserve to be there. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you happy with the final eight?